Ernest Hemingway once wrote that a man is never lost at sea. That's certainly the case for the people featured in this video. When we see so many ocean wildlife clips on YouTube, it's sometimes easy to forget that someone had to film them. This episode is dedicated to just a few of those people. We're joining some brave divers, scuba and free, on some interesting trips into the deep blue. Some are pushing the human body to its limits. Others are steering things in a more humorous direction. This one isn't about wildlife, but there'll be some wildlife along the way. This is Deep Blue Discovery. Coming up on this episode, the one-of-a-kind location you can only dive thanks to earthquakes in the 18th century. And the model who uses predators as props. But first, we're joining French freediving champion Arnold Giraud as he attempts to journey 101 metres below sea level without breathing apparatus. He trained for a year before this attempt in 2018. It took place during the World Championships off the coast of Turkey. In total, Arnold, who was 22 at the time, held his breath for 3 minutes and 19 seconds. To a lesser diver, the pressure at such depths would have been unbearable. I'm OK! <laughs> Arnold's been diving since he was seven years old, and he's since broken a certain freediving world record, descending to an incredible 112 metres. Anna von Botica is also a world-famous freediver. Here she is about to defy freezing temperatures to experience the surreal world beneath Greenland's icy expanse. Accompanying her on her trip is photographer Tobias Friedrich, who admitted the minus 27 degree water would be challenging. Tassilak in eastern Greenland is well known for its awesome landscapes. To see what lies beneath the icebergs in this way would have been mind-blowing. This diving site in Silfra is actually a rift between the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. Diving here is only possible now due to earthquakes that took place in 1789 and the two plates are drifting two centimetres apart every year. If you're lucky enough to visit this part of the world in Iceland, you're actually diving between two continents. But that's not the best thing about this one-of-a-kind location. The fissure purportedly cut into an underground spring containing glacial meltwater. This filters through lava for a decade before merging in Silfra. As a result, visibility is second to none often extending to more than 100 metres. Every autumn, Italian winemaker Piero Lugana gathers his team of scuba divers and they all head into the deep. Piero believes ageing his product in the ocean leads to better bubbling. Basically, the champagne is left on the seafloor for months. Then the divers descend to attach ropes to the boxes and a crane lifts them back onto dry land. There's kind of a poetic reason for going to all this trouble, just to age sparkling wine. Piero is quoted as saying that wine came to the modern world through ancient sealed amphoras found on the sea floor. That's basically pottery archaeologists sometimes discover as part of shipwrecks. Some people believe that as a result, aging wine in the ocean leads to an improved alcoholic beverage. 
Sharks often hunt at night, so you'd have to be pretty brave to get in the water with this many in the dark. This atmospheric footage is the work of diver Michael Airy. It was taken while he was anchored off Isla Socorro. This is interesting because if you know what you're looking at, you can tell the silky sharks are actually using the ship's lights to target their prey. To take a dip in the pitch black with these magnificent predators must have been an incredible experience. Kimba Kiefer is a model prepared to go the extra mile to make her photographs unique. Her husband Ken is behind the camera, and not only is she very obviously surrounded by sharks, she's also not wearing any scuba gear, relying on Ken for oxygen in between shoots. This unusual piece of photography took place off Stewart Cove in the Bahamas. Still to come on this episode, we explore the giant sinkhole off the coast of Belize. But first... My top five tips to safely dive with sharks are to don't move that much. Don't freak out, because otherwise they might get scared and start coming at you. Make sure you're not making sudden movements, because that's another reason why they can get scared. Uh, yeah, enjoy yourself. They're pretty beautiful creatures. British schoolgirl Amy Burns was just 10 years old when this was filmed. She was believed to be the youngest person in the world with a pro diving qualification and to have swum with sharks with no cage for protection. Far from being afraid, Amy, who was raised by diver parents, is more than happy to be surrounded by apex predators. This is Adam Stern, an award-winning freediver ranked fifth in the world in the men with fins category. On this occasion, he's in Barracuda Lake in the Philippines, and his wife has hidden his gear underwater. Adam likes to inject a fair bit of humour and fun into his freediving. Here he is off the coast of Bali taking part in an underwater disco. And here he is working out in the sea. And here he is steering the famous Boga wreck in northeast Bali. But perhaps his best piece of footage is this one in a million whale selfie. Finally, the Great Blue Hole is a giant marine sinkhole off the coast of Belize. It's 125 meters deep and a must see for all intrepid scuba divers. The site was actually made famous by Jacques Cousteau. Erin Spencer travelled more than 7,000 miles from New Zealand to see this amazing natural wonder and filmed the entire experience. The best underwater footage really immerses the viewer in what is essentially an alien environment. Some people find the idea of diving unnerving, particularly when sharks are involved but others find it gives them an adrenaline rush or simply find the sea beautiful. Either way, we're glad to be able to show you some of the most awesome ocean footage in the world every single week. It's largely thanks to divers like those in this video. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be back next week with more great content. <laughs>